Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back on Fallout 4, and I'm going to be showing you guys today how to get the artillery artillery schematic uh, for your bases in Fallout 4. I don't know if it's just uh, specific for this um, specific, uh, the castle in specific, or if it applies to, um, you know, all of your places. We'll check that out at the end. But what you're going to have to do is eventually once you kill the castle, you know, and kill the Queen Mire Lurk, uh, you will uh, go and continue playing, and you'll get this quest called Old Guns. Rodney Shaw uh, will show up here at the castle, and um, she'll help you kind of gain access to the, the to the castle's armory. You'll take kind of a long path. This thing right here will be down over this door. Uh, you will need to come all the way around and then hit this button right here, which will open it. Uh, and then if you come back here, here is the armory. Uh, there is the artillery schematic. We'll take a quick look around um, and uh, look at everything. Let me talk to her real quick. I have to admit, Ronnie, having artillery would help out quite a bit. Oh, we used to rain down fire on death claws and super mutants alike. It was a glorious thing. All right, grab that schematic and let's get going. Don't forget to grab some smoke grenades too. Okay, so. Here, this is the um, castle armory. We'll take a quick look around. You've got a weapons bench in here. You've got some different mods, the laser musket medium scope, uh, musket beam splitter, and musket four crank capacitor. Uh, you also can find a bunch of different grenades over here. You have two stealth boys. You've got some purified and some dirty water, both very useful. Um, regular uh purified water is great to heal health and dirty water you can end up making the uh the the purified water as well as you can use it to make uh soups and different stuff to heal your health uh you'll find a bunch of these uh fragmentation mines on the way uh on the ground so pay attention to that uh, and pick those up you've got three different guns over here scatter laser musket focus laser musket uh and regular laser musket uh, as well as some different ammo. Uh, there's a bunch of fusion cells here in the room, just loose ones, one apiece. Um, you've got a loose mini nuke up there, as well as over here you have a fat man. Uh, and then you've got these Tesla arcs. To my knowledge, all you do is you just click A, you get a fusion cell and a copper added, and then um, you can repair it. I, or, I'm not sure how these work exactly. I'm not entirely sure you add some circuitry. You add some different stuff. Um, and then right here is the ammo, flare, and artillery smoke. Let me put something in here to get underweight. Uh, let's go ahead and just put all this. Let me leave the fat man. We'll come, I'll come back for that later. But yeah, just go ahead and collect the stuff from the Tesla arcs. I'm not entirely sure what those do for you. Uh, right here are three turrets. Uh, if you go into the... Uh, crafting mode or whatever. Uh, you've got three laser turrets here that produce eight defensive piece. They require two power. Uh, and then over here is the most important. You've got artillery supplies on each side and then the schematic in the middle. Uh, so let's go ahead and head out and talk to Ronnie and we'll get this artillery set up. Um, you do get, I don't know if they come because of this or if you have to set up a beacon to actually get people to here and they just move in when you complete this quest as kind of the uh it's kind of like help to do this uh, looks like you've got everything we need as soon as you get some artillery built we'll do a test fire to calibrate it okay so we need to create it go in here it is under special and there's the artillery piece i have a spot picked out already so we'll go ahead and come out here it's kind of like i almost think they designed this to be the spot where you um where you put it because in most of them there's just broken down rubble in these areas that you can probably clean out. Yeah, you can clean out the destroyed artillery and get different. Yeah. Okay, so you can clear out the artillery, but this one all the way over here, which kind of guards the front and also guards kind of like the sea over there. And uh, so we're going to put it down right here. And if you get it in there right, it'll lower it down so it looks more appropriate. Yeah, there we go. So you can lower it down a little bit. And I'm just going to throw it in there. Uh, then now I can move it around to my liking. So, yeah, that, that, that'll that work. Okay, so now you need to get somebody to um, man the artillery. And so, 
uh, I didn't. Like, I don't think there's any reason these pe- these two dudes should be here. But I did. I do now have these two guys here, uh, and so I'm gonna command this one to handle the artillery, and we'll get the set. We'll get the shoot off um, some shots with it. We'll get to see it in action, and hopefully you can put these in at every one of your. Uh, places. If not, I might make the castle kind of my stronghold. I think you could do some cool stuff with this. The only problem is, you know, you don't really get houses here. It's mostly just inhabit the castle, and that's about it. And I, re- I kind of like designing my own house and that type of crap, but maybe I'll make this, like, the secondary. Okay, let me assign there. Okay. Talk to Ronnie Shaw. Let's go talk to Ronnie. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> Talk. Oh, gosh darn, it's good to see artillery here again. So here's the thing about the big guns. They can't fire at anything too close, but their range is impressive. That's what the smoke grenades are for. Toss one of those at the bad guys. If we have artillery in range, we'll confirm over the radio and target our fire on your smoke. But first, we better do a test fire. Make sure we're hitting what we're aiming at. You see that little building over there? We'll use that for our aiming point. Keep your radio on and tuned to Radio Freedom so we can confirm we're ready. Okay, so we gotta turn on... Why wanna... Why is it doing this? Okay, so radio... Radio Freedom... I think I have my radio volume way down because I don't want music or anything playing in these videos. So right over here is where we need to go, and then I would assume throw a smoke down. Go ahead, and where is that? Um, what would it be under? Is it under miscellaneous? What's it under? Wait, where is it? I don't know where it is. The heck? It's got to be in weapons. Am I just blind? Yeah, there it is. I'm just blind. Okay. So I'm going to... It's right here. There we go. Okay, let me back off. I'm going to miss it because I'm standing behind. Are they going to shoot it? I don't have my headphones in, so I can't hear the radio. Are they going to... What are they... Well, that was really successful. The... Throw a smoke flare into the area. Tar- oh, do they? Oh, I think I know what they want. They want me to throw it in here. I got you, game. And then I bounce it off of the stupid ground. Cause my character can't throw. Oh god. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Well, they shot it. <laughs> Okay, okay, I see how this artillery works. Okay, so I just, it just is really delayed when you throw that smoke, because they're hitting the first spot now. It's just super delayed. Alright, alright, the, the, the artillery is a success. Let's head on back. Let me see, let me see... Okay, now it's just talk to Preston Garvey, but there it is. We've got someone manning it now. Uh, we could get some more artillery set up and all that around. There are these specific, like, artillery spots. Um, I think there's, what, six, five, five, probably, I think it's five, yeah. There's five different spots for the artillery, uh, but I thought I'd show you guys the schematic and just how it works, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace out.